Hey y'all, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Kendra, and in today's video, we are going to go around to some different sims that I like to go to to take um, some photographs. I am a blogger, so I am always looking for new places to go to take a photo, and the the sims I have to show you today are some of my favorites. So right now we are at my fr my first area and it's called the Gardens of Grace. I will have all of the links to all of these locations down in the description below if you want to come visit them and um, take your own photos. So we are here at the Gardens of Grace. This is just a nice natural area. Um, as you can see behind me, there are a lot of waterfalls um, and just nice little areas uh, that would make great areas to take photographs. A lot of these areas are great places that you can go to just relax or if you have a significant other or somebody that you just want to cuddle with, um, they're also great places for that. Uh, some of them are adult areas, so you can even go and do adult things in some of these sims as well. Um, so I'm just camming around this sim right now, and then we can um, take a walk around. Um, if, like, look, this place here, they have these dance balls. Um, so you can just go and dance with your significant other and um, have a nice evening or afternoon together spending time. Um, they also have a lot of areas where you can um, sit and role play. Like there's a, um, a picnic table. You can maybe role play a picnic together for a date would be a nice thing to do. Um, So we'll come back to me. So right now I'm at the landing point of um, Gardens of Grace. And most of these areas are free to rain, free to roam. Um, some of them you can res your own objects. Most of them you cannot. So you have to pay attention to that um, if you have props that you want to use. Um, also, uh, another thing that I like to point out is to keep these sims open, they rely a lot on um, donations. So this flower here is a donation jar, and every once in a while I like to throw a few lindens in there just so I can show my appreciation for the sim and what they've created here. So I'm going to do that now. Just as a thank you um, for providing this for all of us, because if people didn't create these areas, we wouldn't have these beautiful areas to um, to go to um, for our photographs. All right, over here they have a teleporter, and if you just click on it, it gives you. A bunch of different quick accesses to a bunch of different places on the sim so there's an art studio um, a place you can go dancing you can take a balloon ride like I said a lot of these are places you can take a date but they make great photography backgrounds as well okay so there's that and these teleporters are located all over the sim um, so if you don't want to keep wandering. So we're just going to take a walk around um, and take a look. 
but if you notice, it's just gorgeous with all the flowers and the landscaping they've done is just wonderful. Okay, so at first we come over here, and this looks like just an area you can you can dance. All right, so um, if we walk over this way, look at this beautiful bridge um, with the um, waterfalls, and there's a nice spot to sit with a friend and just chat. And another area you can dance. And some of these places I've I've explored a little bit, but I haven't really gotten to the entire area. Um, and this looks like where are we here? It's just a stone house, and you can find here's the um, donation, another donation jar, and another teleporter. So, if you come in here. There's like a cuddle rug, and is this a? Um, let's zoom out. Oh, it's a lighthouse. There we go. So if you see, it's a lighthouse. And it's neat because you can climb up. I'm not going to climb all the way up to the top of this lighthouse. But this is just a nice area. <clears throat> so if you're interested in the Gardens of Grace, you can check out the landmark below and come check it out for yourself because it is beautiful here. And especially now being spring and even in the summer, um, it would be a great place to take some photographs. Oh, here we go. There's a cave in here. It's just a walk through to another beautiful area with a pretty fountain. Nice. So, very versatile, very lots, lots of great um, areas to take photos. Alright, the next area I have to show you is called Soul to Soul Mediterranean. This is a cute little town on the Mediterranean Sea, and it is just adorable. Um, show you down this way. It's just pretty. Um, the sounds and the ambiance of this place is just beautiful. And it's just a nice place to come take photos if this is something that you're looking for. So we can take a little bit of a walk around and see what there is. Um, down here is a little alley and we can come up and way I guess. Looks like a big stone castle or something. Let's see what we have here. I'm sure this is designed to look like a specific um, town along the Mediterranean. I unfortunately have never been able to travel there so I'm not sure exactly what this is designed after, but let's look at this, this little, um, looks like a church of some sort, and really nice, and let's see, 
there's so much on these sims that you can go to explore, so it's just really, it's really neat to see what people, because people are so creative, I swear. I mean, I can photograph things, and I can utilize this stuff, but creating it is just a whole nother thing. It's just, look, it's so pretty. It's like the different levels and the attention to details and all. It's just, it's just really, really nice and so well themed. We keep going up, and I think this is where I'm walking now is like part of their residential area. I think you can live here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's that little cabin. But look, look at this overlooking this overlook here. Here where it's nice and quiet and you can just keep traveling up this road I'm sure it just keeps going and going but um, like I said this is soul to soul Mediterranean soul to soul has uh, other um, sims of scenic sims on the grid as well um, but this one here is the favorite that I have I have found in Second Life. Um, next, we are here at, and this is called Yorkshire. Um, this is actually a, um, a sky box of sorts. Um, so it's not very big at all, but it, it's, it's still beautiful. The, um, the sky is... Um, just a country, a countryside area for you to take photographs. Um, if you can see in the background, there's like a house with, um, that's very Yorkshire-like and some flowers and just beautiful, um, area to take some photos. Oops. And we have another donation box, so I am going to donate it to show my appreciation to the area. Because if we don't uh, appreciate and show our support, these these people are spending money on these sims um, for us to take photographs. So. It, we just, it's nice to appreciate what others have created. So let's take a walk around. Like I said, this is just a small area, but so well done. If you're looking for a countryside um, to take photographs, it's just beautiful. Very peaceful and tranquil. Okay, so out in the middle of this little pond... You can see there's a boat and some ducks that are quacking away. All right, so um, there's that and <laughs> just a random train um, engine in the middle of the countryside, which is interesting, but still makes a beautiful backdrop for, for any photo, really. And the grass <laughs> is very tall, but um, 
it just causes shows. All right, so we've got an engine here. And over here, let's run a little bit so we can get there faster. Run over here and see what's over on this side of the little pond. These ducks are noisy, aren't they? So there's like a little carriage <laughs> here with some horses. I thought I heard some horses neighing in the background. And a little lake and a nice little place for you to, um, to have a romantic area. Oh, look at this. Let's put it on... If you put it on midnight, it looks like you can have some fireworks. So let's put it on our midnight setting. Let's see how to get these fireworks to go off. Come on. No? Okay, you're going to make a liar out of me. Let's see what it says. Lemon fireworks. Handle it carefully. Keep fire away. Alright, so you're supposed to just click on it, I just assume. <laughs> Let's see what it says in the chat. Oh, just thank you for the donation, so it's not leaving any questions in the chat. Well, maybe you can figure out how to get these fireworks to show off. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's a beautiful area to, oops. Yeah, but like you, like I said, it's, it's like a skybox up in the sky, so. All right. Let's see, I'll just cam over here. It looks like like this is a little chapel. Well, that's pretty. Nice little chapel with, it's just, I really think it's very nicely done, even though it's a smaller area. And um, at the end, I will put some photographs of, um, of pictures I've taken at these different locations like I took a picture out in front of this this truck once and at the end I'll just I'll I'll post some pictures that I've taken at the different locations okay and that is it for your chair okay we are at Finian's dream Celtic mist which is my next favorite photography spot. And this is one of those areas you would go to if you're looking for some sort of um, fantasy type um, location for a photograph. It is, it's got the beautiful rays of sunshine that come down through the trees and the, the mist that covers the ground, it all provides that perfect ambiance for like a fantasy area. And um, so in the daytime when you have like a wind light that is in the daytime, it's it's very fantasy and mystical, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it over to midnight. And as you can see, it kind of gives it a little bit of an eerie type look. So if you want that kind of look, this is a, a great location for that. It still has the... Um, the mist, which make, gives it that eerie look, but because there's no light, it, it makes it a little spooky-like, kind of, and, um, but the light sh still shines through the trees, but 
with this like green eerie type light. So right now I'm looking for, I like, I'm going to go back to just a daylight setting. Um, so you can see around a little bit better, but let's take a little walk around and explore. And um, it's, I love this area because right here, when you come over here, these little fairies come and they follow you around. And I think that's just so sweet. Um, like they don't leave your side. They just stay in this kind of like general area. If I were to go too far out of their area, they will not follow me. Oh, they're following me this far. But, um, and so they'll follow us around for a little bit, I guess, then. Um, so we have a cute little stream. And looks like this tree. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to walk on the tree. I can't balance on a tree. What are you talking about? And, um, so it's just a nice wooded fantasy type area that, um, you can take some photos. Um, let's cross that stream again. And over here is a, oh, let's go through this way. So we can go in through the front instead of the side. Oh. No, where did I know I'm getting all turned around? Oh, here we go. Sorry. So over here are some. All right. So over here are some cool, like, ruins, and you see, they are just like pretty for a good themed photo like that. And then there's the Celtic cross right here. Um, it's a nice addition and it just, this area is just so pretty and there's so much to explore here, um, all around. We have, we have these, um, found the wolves that are howling right here. <laughs> This one's with Helen, and then there's his two friends. So, um... Try to back this way and see what's back here. It's... But I like how it just, like, randomly you come across some just neat little things, like this statue here just random, but it fits the theme of this area so well. Oh, cute little deer. And the baby. Oh, the fairies are back following me again. Right, so another bridge across the water. See if I can handle this one. Nope, can't handle it. Can't handle it. Okay. We have a little cottage in the woods. Over here. If you look some quiet quickly, you can hear that, but there's like a soft, um, like Irish music playing. a little pub or something. Oh yeah, look, there's the, the, the light post is made out of a barrel. So there's all sorts of little like hidden gems back here in this sim. And it's just really pretty. So, um, 
again, I've taken many photos here. Um, and they really all come out so nicely. Oh, there's a staircase over here. Let's see what's going on up at this staircase. Exploring Sims and Second Life is, is a fun thing to do if you're, like, bored. I know, um, when you're new to Second Life, it's one of those things that, like, what do you do here? Well, if you're bored, just go and start exploring these places, because the, the people create this stuff from scratch. They get a flat land and they go and oh, I'm caught in a bush. Sorry about that. And they create these huge sims with such oh, such creativity. It really is amazing what people can do here in Second Life. Um, Oh, it's a cute little cottage up here, up on the top of the cliff. Kind of like the Cliffs of Moor, maybe? No, it's not really like the Cliffs of Moor. Don't, don't listen to me. I have actually been to Ireland, so I, I have been to the Cliffs of Moor, and this is nothing like that. Um, but let's see. Um, and I guess you can go up to the second floor on that ladder. So, anyway. So, anyway, there's lots more to discover here at, um, at, at, um, Celtic Mist. But, uh, that gives you an idea of what you can find here. But come... And explore and see what this beautiful sim has to offer all right guys this video is getting kind of long so I am going to break it up into two parts this will be the end of the first part and in a few days I'll post a new video with the remainder of my favorite photography areas so I want to thank you for watching and check back in a few days to see part two. And also, um, at the end of this video, I'm going to just post a few photos that I've taken at the locations that I've shown you so far. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.